Welcome to Wrestling Talk in the Shop, well, where we will review wrestling memorabilia and talk all things professional wrestling straight from the wrestling ring. Hello, this is Jonathan from Wrestling Talk in the Shop, and today we're going to go over a couple of things I've had in my collection for a while. 1987. LJN Hulk Hogan WrestleMania Championship Belt. Let's see if I can get this on camera. My face changes. Did you see that? <laughs> I just I've had this thing a long time. There's a couple of used ones out there. It's really hard to find with the packaging. I've had it a long time. You can tell by the dust on it. And we'll go over it and look at the back of it. Of course I have a lot of the LJN figures. No idea what something like this would have cost in 1987. <sighs> Probably at Toys R Us. But very sought after piece. This is like the Hogan 84 championship belt, I believe. Don't hold me to it. The other day in, they were. I just love the colors and the packaging. WWF WrestleMania. They were, they were riding high off that WrestleMania. And we'll look at the back of it. Tells you how to change the belt. Yeah, how to change it. And it's got some... Uh, mm -hmm. The cell on the back of the figures and the cage and the ring. Everything sold separately, of course. <laughs> In 1987, Titan Sports, Hulk Hogan is a trademark of Marvel Comic Groups. Licensed exclusively to, to Titan Sports. All others... Distinct names and characters are used herein. Let's look at the show a little bit better. Let's see, what it's got. Turn, turn the thing. It's like magic. And of course, co inspire with that. I'll set that right there. I have an actual replica of the 1984. Signed by Hogan, picked up at his beach shop. He wasn't there, but Ron Howard was. Hulk Hogan, Hall of Fame 05. 12 time champion, running wild, brother. I don't know who this is made by. Probably not a good maker. What, but it's a good, it's heavy. good flappy leather. You can see, it's got flappy leather. I like it. <laughs> I was going to read the Oh, okay. It's got on the side plate, it's got Nature Boy Buddy Rogers. He lost it to Bruno San Martino May 17th of 1963. And then Bruno San Martino lost it to Ivan Koloff January. 13th of 71 to oh it's got there this is the right and then after that was pedro morales his reign was from february 8th of 71 to december 1st of 70. can't read that 73. these plates are on back let me go back to bruno he held it from december 10th 71 to april 30th of 77 Billy Graham held it from April 30th to 77 to February 20th of 78. Bob Backlund from February uh, February of 20, 20th of 78 to December 20th of 83. And the Iron Sheik from December 20th of 83 to January 23rd of 1984. And then Hulkamania was born. <laughs> Madison Square Garden. But there it is. 
Nice shot of it. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. Thanks.